previously on Dream Team. Look, there's something I need to tell you about what I'm going to be saying to UEFA. We do not want them to award us the game. We want to play it again. I've been up for 48 hours on the trot. And I cannot turn my back for five minutes without you not putting your foot in it. I'm going to tell Knox. I'm telling them that I resign. And so do you. Don't do that. Knox call, please. Hello, Dino. What's this about? We have to get him back. Where is he? Don? Don? Someone call an ambulance, please! gave me a fright. Where have you been, darling? Doesn't matter. You should rest. How long have I been asleep? You admitted yesterday. So I came in yesterday. It was Saturday. March day. Dad. Oh, Mr Barker, you're awake. <sighs> Not much I know, doctor. You have a condition called angina. You've heard of it? Do I have to stay in? Well, you can rest at home if you choose. But it's two weeks, minimum. Nothing taxing, nothing strenuous. That's you. You can't think about that now. Sweetheart, that's all I've been thinking about. Uh, Mr Barker, work is out of the question. I have a club to manage, and I cannot do it for my bed. Dad, they owe you a couple of weeks. Go back after the Lazio game. If I just lose to Lazio, I'm not going to have a job to go back to. Uh, well, from a health point of view, that might not be such a bad thing. Who brought me in? Was it Dean Boyle? Has Dean Boyle been here? Has anybody else visited me? I haven't seen Dean, Dad. Can you just calm down? Right. I'll have to get to the club. I need to see Boyle. Am I free to go? You are, but... You're not listening, Dad. This is angina. We're talking about your life. Well, you're not listening. I need to speak to Boyle. It's not just my job that's on the line here. It's my career. That is my life. Building up now from Millwall, it's Neil Harris on the way through now. Nathan Woods exposed the goalkeeper, but he makes the save with his feet to deny Harris. And this crucial championship fixture still has Harchester 1 0 in front. And the answer in charge due to the rumoured health problems to manager Don Barker. Don? Where's Boyle? Has he been in? We don't know where he is. You're not in hospital. I've tried talking to him. Boyle, have you spoken to him? Is he watching the match? No, no one's seen him. He's not answering his phone. I contacted the police this morning. You phoned the police? Well, we sent someone to his house. Nothing. It's match day, Don, and nothing from him. Dad, what is going on? What about Knox? He's watching the game. Has he asked to see me? No, I need that, Don. Has he? No, nothing. Don! There are three UEFA officials here to discuss the events in Lazio. Dean had a meeting scheduled with them after the game. Now, I know I'm stating the obvious, but it's not going to look good if there's no one there to talk to them. I'll meet them. God. Should he be out of hospital? No. Look, thanks for calling. If he'd been any worse, I would never have forgiven myself. And what are you thinking? You're back for good? I'm back for Dad. And Frank? <sighs> I don't know. Hi, this is Dean Boyle. Leave a message. Boyle, where are you? Phone me. This isn't relaxed. It's possible that there's going to be some unpleasantness around here today. It's possible Boyle might make allegations against me. 
And what's he going to say? Well, it doesn't matter. It's all lies. All of it. Manchester still leading by a goal to nil. Taylor finding Wes Kane. Not long left now. And there must be real concern for Dennis Wise, the Millwall manager. Hammond now finding Fletcher. Chance to wrap it up. Carl Fletcher 2 0. And three priceless points are Harchester United's now. Carl Fletcher, the hero again. This is a big, big win for them. Make no mistake. Get in there. Three points. Come on! Have we ever lost under you? Never. Hey, where'd you go, Bob? Bye, darling. Frank, you stink! Hey, I've got to hold some after the win, is my routine. Frank, listen, have you seen Jamie? What? Why? Because of her dad. You spoke to her. I've seen him. What? Where is she upstairs? <laughs> really? Yeah, go for it, mate. So, man of the match, how do you feel? Two goals and man of the match. I feel ecstatic, mate. How do you think I feel? You know? But it was a team effort at the end of the day. If you're watching this, Gaffer, this win was from the boys, all right? So there's no need to worry about us. You just take it real easy, all right? Ah, lost and in a bed. Thought you were resting up. Well, you know what they say about the wicked. No rest. Done. They may have disappeared, and you may be ill, but the deal still stands. Beat Lazio. Are you fired? Don. Excuse me, Mr Knox. Don. Still no son of Dean and the UEFA officials are waiting. UEFA? It's okay, I'll deal with it. Jordi! Jordi! Please! Was you even going to tell me you were here? I hadn't decided. I'm back for my dad, Frank. If you hadn't noticed, he's not well. What do you think I'm pleased? Jordi! Jordi, do you think I'm pleased? Not here, Frank. <laughs> Firstly, I'm sorry about your dad. I really am. Oh, come on, Frank, you hate him. I've never wished your dad ill, Jordi, never. That's not who I am. Okay, so who are you? Introduce yourself, because I certainly don't know. What do you mean, Jordi? Well, let's start with how many men you slept with. I told you. That's in the past. That's not an answer. Count them. There's the guy in the car. That's one. Have I got enough fingers or are you going to have to help me out? Three or four. Well, is it three or is it four? Six. Six. You sure? They were just one night stands, baby. I don't even remember the names. I never met them again, and I don't want to meet them again. And would you do it again? Sleep with a man? If we got back together, would you? No. But would you want to? Don, they're waiting. Still no boil. This just isn't like him. I'm getting really worried, Don. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> Gentlemen, sorry to keep you waiting. I'm afraid uh, Mr Boyle doesn't seem to be here at the moment. Now, I didn't arrange this meeting. So if you care to fill me in on exactly what Mr. Boz told you, then we can take it from there. Baby, we have to fight through this. I make one mistake. Six mistakes. Unless you meant I was a mistake. It's never going to happen again. You can't rewrite the past. It happened. You do something like that and there are consequences. Consequences? I went and had a checkup. Not just HIV, the works. How do you think that made me feel being put in that position? But you must be okay, though. I mean, I took precautions. Not with me, you didn't. But you're okay, though. You must have got the all clear, Jody. Tell me. 
I got the old clear from the STDs. Yeah. Right. So you don't have anything to worry about. Just having an abortion. What? Where is Mr. Boyle? Why are we here? Well, um, we are trying to get hold of him at the moment, uh, gentlemen. However, in the meantime, if I can... Uh... Don. Sorry to interrupt. The police are here to see you. Uh, excuse me, gentlemen. <clears throat> Have you seen your daughter? Mr. Barker. Yes, uh... What is it? Dean Boyle is in hospital. What? He's been very badly beaten. They couldn't even identify him at first. He'd been robbed, no wallet, no ID. Oh, so where is he? Has he spoken to anyone? That's what we're trying to tell you. Dean can't speak. He's in a coma. Is he going to be okay? Well, the longer he's out, the more we'll be concerned, but we have every hope he'll make a full recovery. Do you think he'll remember things? I mean, the scum that did this to him, because the police don't have a clue. Oh, this kind of brain trauma, outcomes are unpredictable. Memory, motor functions, reasoning, temperament, they're areas which could suffer damage. There's no way a scan can tell us that. I'm very sorry. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Dino's out. The gaffer could go out any second, and we got Lazio around the corner. Look, now's not the time. I'm just being realistic. Yeah? How is he? He's in a bad way. But he's in no immediate danger. Is he going to wake up? They don't know. We're going to have to start praying then. Praying that he gets better. I know it's difficult. I know it seems insensitive, but we can't let this distract us. Because beating Lazio is what Dean wanted more than anything. So when he wakes up, telling him we've won this game is the best news we can give him. Yeah. So let's get them to it. I can't let you do this. What? I didn't know how to react at first. Well, you told me you were pregnant. I didn't say I was pregnant. I said I was having an abortion. I've never wanted anything more than to be a father. You've never even talked about having kids before. It just never felt the right time. And then when you told me, all I can think of is how bloody wonderful it is. I'm not having this baby, Frank. How can I bring it into this mess? But you'd be a great mom. And I'd do everything I could to be a great dad. And a husband. If you'll have me. What did your dad say when you told him? He's just come out of hospital. I didn't think it was the time. He wouldn't want me anywhere near the kid. There isn't a kid yet. But there could be. You'll at least think about it. All I want is a family that doesn't hate each other. And if you had that, you'd think about it. About... us. The baby. If. Good night, Frank.
It's late. I saw you talking to Frank, Ellen. He's still my husband. He's still a cheat. Whether you want to believe me or not. He admits that much. You don't have to go back to him, Judy. I know you think you do. But there's not a single reason why you should stay with him. You should be resting. I've got 20 Lazio players to swap up on. I've got two days to come up with the answers. We have to beat Lazio. And right now, I don't know where to start. You've taken the team this far. And maybe this is about as far as it's meant to go. You don't believe that. And I know you don't. Jodie, darling. It's good to have you home. And I ain't going nowhere unless you're coming with me. Suit yourself. I will. Thanks. Knox needs to do something. Look, this has only just happened. You want to see them replaced already? All I'm saying is, we don't know who's going to be watching this Lazio game. Maybe it's our new boss. Hey, uh, how you feeling, Gaffer? Yeah, you, uh, you feeling okay, Gaffer? Shut up, Fletcher. I just reckon you should laugh the shouting for a bit, yeah? You worried about me? Don't be. I'm fine. Subject closed. Right, Lazio. We'll be working with the same formation. What, the same one against Millwall? We're not playing Millwall, son. We're playing Lazio. And the key to beating Lazio is frustrating them. They show flair, we show discipline. Which means? Which means one up front, five in midfield. Curtis, you'll be dropping back, big man. Yeah, well, I, I don't know whether you caught the game, Gaffer, but against Millwall, we played 4-4-2. Now Presley's back. Worried about losing your place, Fletcher? It's pointless! I've got no support on the front! Where are the goals gonna come from? Hey? This won't work against Lazio. It ain't working against reserves. I ain't seen the ball in ten minutes. Well, if you get the breath to do that much shouting, you're obviously not working hard enough. Ten laps, Fletcher. Go. Presley, son! You drive back! Use your face! Get I'm so worried the gaffer's gonna drop down dead. They're too scared to tell him he's talking crap out there. It's going to be so embarrassing against Lazio. We need to talk sense to him. Look, he's the gaffer. We've got to listen to him, not question him, all right? 
What are you defending him for? In case you hadn't noticed, he treats you like dirt nowadays. Yeah, well, that's what I'm going to change. Well, it'll have to be something bloody big, mate, to move that mountain. Well? What makes you suddenly so desperate to play happy families, eh? Tell me you're not going to be a daddy. Oh, lad! Whoa, 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 Thatch. The gaffer doesn't know. Because of his dodgy old tick, you know. What? Look, me and Jody, we don't know what's going to happen. With us all the kid. So keep your trap shut, okay? Okay, okay. No problem. Nice one, though, yeah? Nice one. Hey, Fletch, what are you saying about? Nothing. Nothing at all. Flowers. Um, yeah, they're for you. Was that it then? Yeah. Um, I was wondering if uh, if you went to business tonight. That I was wondering if you'd like to have a drink with me. Are you asking me on a date? It sort of sounds like that, doesn't it? All right. I'll have an orange juice with you. As long as you know it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, yeah, sure. Should I call your room? Yeah. Is that your dad? Are you coming in or what? Now tomorrow, John Barker's team face Lazio in a Champions League match that's creating a sensation up and down the country. We can go to John Barker live in his hotel room where he's agreed to answer your calls. Well, thank you for agreeing to talk to us, Don. Oh, it's good to be with you. Line one, you're through to Don Barker. I'm a Harchester fan. I don't mean to sound unkind, but if you're sick, Don, maybe you should step aside. We need someone who's up to the task. Oh, I'm fine, thanks. And I'm certainly not stepping aside. Well, OK, so you're well. The question remains, can Harchester beat Lazio? <laughs> How can you even ask me that? Well, line three, do you believe Harchester are good enough? Yeah, I'd just like to uh, point out that Mr Barker never asked that last question. Does he believe Harchester are good enough? Who is this? I noticed when Harchester played Millwall, they were, they were taking risks, attacking more, and they won comfortably. You never managed that game, did you? Is this Carl Fletcher? Is that Carl Fletcher? Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's me. God, Carl, please don't say something stupid. Carl, would it be right to suggest you take issue with Don Barker's approach to the Lazio game? Look, why don't we ask the fans if uh, they like the way Harchester played Mill? There's no way I'm talking right. tactics here. I'm sure, we can put that question to our callers. No, we're not putting this to a phone vote. I'm doing this phone in to clear up any misunderstandings about my health. Well, OK then. I'll speak to the fans. Ask them what they want. What is it you think you know about management? Eh, Fletcher? Do you even know any of the Lazio players that we're playing against tomorrow? Just their names, Fletcher. Look, I think the fans deserve to know if the manager of their team has belief in his players. For having to listen to what you know and what you think you know. Oh, and you know so much? Oh, I know what I'm talking about. You don't even know your own daughter's up the duff. You told Fletch. I didn't tell him. Uh, guys, if you could get back to the football. Oh, I cannot believe you just said that. It was more like he worked it out. Worked it out? How did he work it out? Jody. Jody, wait. Is it true? Dad, I never meant for you to find out like this. It's Frank the father. Yes, Dad. I wasn't even sure I was going to have it. And with all the hospital stuff and the Lazio match, I didn't want to bother you. Bother me? He knew. Fletcher knew. Well, I don't know how that happened. It wasn't their fault, Dad. I don't want to hear a word for you. I understand you're being angry. You're not part of this conversation. Get lost. This is my child we're talking about. It's not your child. It's my child. Look, you can't be seriously thinking of having it. I don't know. You don't know. Have you gone mad, girl? Dad, this has got nothing to do with you. Yes, it does. He's my dad. 
He's never let me down. All you had to do was keep your mouth shut. And you couldn't even do that. What's she been telling you? She's been telling you to keep this baby. I want to be a dad. The only reason you want a kid is so people don't think you are queer. You're out of order now, Don. That's Frank, stay out of this. I want to talk to my dad on my own. Don? Dad! Oh, Don? Call an ambulance, Frank. Uh, Don't get to the hospital. It's all right. Come on! Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God! What happened? Do you want me to call an ambulance? It's going to take 20 minutes. I could drive him there at that time. Let's just get him to the car. Look, I know, I know, right? I got carried away. I'll say sorry to him. He is on his way to hospital, Fletch. Well, I can't take the blame for that one. Listen, about the baby. I've got enough to think about right now, Frank. We can do this and all we can. I don't think so. It's not just up to you. You can't go and do something like this and take away my chance of being a dad. Your father's ready to see you now. Go back, Frank. You've got a match tomorrow. Please, just tell me you'll think about it. Please. I'm going in. Don't wait for me. Sweetheart, it was nothing. Those pills they gave me, if I'd had them on me, it would have passed. I'm so sorry. Listen, you have nothing to be sorry for. Dad is such a mess. It's not how I hoped. I thought I'd be so happy when I got pregnant. I had this idea I'd be telling people. They'd be hugging me, congratulating me. You can still have all that, darling. Somebody that deserves you. That isn't Frank. Never will be him. I think he cares for me. I know he wants this baby. If he cared about you, he'd end it. How can he tell you he wants a baby when he's sleeping with blokes? It's nonsense, Jodie. I just keep going over everything he said, and I'm just so confused. There's a difference between wanting a baby and wanting this baby, isn't there? I can take care of him. You won't have to do a thing, okay? Jodie, just let me take care of it for you. The appointment's booked, and they're expecting Jodie. There's nothing more for you to do other than drive her to the clinic and then drive her back. This isn't anything to do with Fletcher and Idiot. No, 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 nothing at all. Jody already decided. Gina, I wouldn't trust my daughter with anyone else. Jody's waiting at the hotel. Thank you. Two weeks on from the terrible scenes in Rome, welcome to the Dragon's Lair. A lair which will have a very different atmosphere for European football. UEFA's decision after the Stadio Olimpico events is a one-off between Harchester United and Lazio for a place in the last eight of the Champions League. Fans all around the country watching in pubs, not allowed to be inside the stadium. But what a huge, huge match this is.
Okay, boys. Big day today. Hope you're all ready to go. Now, before I start talking tactics, I'd just like to thank Frank for driving me to hospital. Cheers. Okay, a lot's going on recently. The press, Dean, my health, TV interviews, personal differences. I want you to put them all out of your mind. The only thing you want to be thinking, beating Lazio. Well, there may be hardly anybody inside the Dragon's Lair, but Jerry Armstrong, you can feel the tension nevertheless. Absolutely, Kevin, and this is a massive game, a winner-takes-all game. Just interested to see what Don Barger's tactics are going to be. Obviously, there's a lot of pressure there. There was a conflict between himself and Fletcher on Sky Sports earlier this week. I wonder what relationship between those two are like. Well, Lazio will be without Di Canio. That's a boost. But they do have some real quality in their ranks. Curtis Alexander skippering Harchester again. Lee Presley, Curtis Alexander. That's who Harchester will look for goals tonight. This is Don Barker's starting 11. Presley indeed is the only change which began that ill-fated match in Rome. So Harchester to get us underway, playing from left to right in the first half. And how will Don Barker's side shape up tactically here? in this most unusual setting. And Jerry, how do you see it in the early minutes? Well, they're going to have to be positive. They're going to have to take the game to Lazio. But it's Lazio, actually, who look as if they're the hungrier of the two sides, Kevin. Well, they're forcing the issue early on here, and Dabo is getting forward. And it may just open up here for Lazio immediately, but Frank Stone with an important challenge. You ready? They're really looking strong down that right flank. It's Otto's cross. Stone is there again. And that's not the first interception from Frank Stone. He's get asking, really, the defence as a whole to push up. And once more, it's Otto who's causing the problem. Presley's challenge. Penalty, says the referee. Well, Lee Presley says, what for? And Don Barker is absolutely furious with the decision. But it's a penalty to Lazio. I think that's a scandalous decision, and the referee's given him a yellow card as well for his troubles. Poor decision for me from the referee, Eric Saraw. Saraw the name and raw the emotions from Don Barker. He's absolutely furious, and he's been sent from the technical area. That's how furious he was. The penalty, though, is for Lazio, and it's going to be Massimo Otto to score the opening goal in this Champions League one-off match for a place in the quarter-finals and the Italians lead. Well, that's the worst possible start for Harchester and it's right on the stroke of half-time as well, Kevin. They're going to have to play a lot better than that in the second half. Well, even though there is hardly anybody inside this stadium, there was still some audible boos to that decision and Don Parker's face tells it all. Lee Presley, the player adjudged to a fouled Massimo Otto. And can Harchester United find the character and discipline necessary in what could be a difficult second half? It was a Explain it to me. The tackle was good. It was a dive. Oh, how can you do that? How? And again like this? Just calm down, Mr. Barker. Why was that penalty? Hey, I'm talking to you! Don't walk away from me! This can't be good for you. That player dives! You don't even consult your linesman! Hey! Oh, how are you? Can you look at your Is he coming or what? He's talking to me. Well, he should be talking to us. We can't go on like that. Not one nil down. Barker would agree. Anyone would say the same. He'll be here. You want your whole life to get to this moment. This moment. 
Ruined by incompetence. Gaffer. Look, my club expects you to make the right decision. Gaffer. I'm not going to let you away with us. Gaffer. What are we doing? Same again. What do you mean, same again? Just tell the lad to same again. Look, it's working fine. I'll be in a moment. Same again. And you, you look get away with us. You ain't fine. Marcus didn't argue with a ref. What does he want us to do? Word for word? Yeah. He wants us to attack. Free up front. Free? Ants, I'm coming on, all right? Curtis, you and me, we sit just behind Lee, all right? That the three of us, we squeeze their defence. Force them to play the long ball, all right? Don't allow them to build from the back. That we can knock back high balls all day long. Yeah? Inzaghi's gonna have to come deep to get it. Which means he ain't picking the ball up 25 yards from our goal. Where he's so dangerous. Now this is high tempo stuff, boys. We've got to keep it going right to the end. And when we get the ball, hit them. Hit them hard with all guns blazing. Yeah? Change in personnel for Harchester straight away, Jerry. Well, this is more like a more positive approach from Don Barker, and it's uh, Fletcher who's on. Can he make the difference? Well, Don Barker is really going for it in the second half, as he has to. They're a goal down controversial penalty but immediately on the attack here it's Fletcher what a chance and a great save by Peruzzi Carl Fletcher clean through and that's the first time that Harchester have got beyond the Lazio defence here they come again now Fletcher room to turn oh that's magnificent Carl Fletcher 1-1 at the Dragon's Lair what a goal oh fantastic goal from Carl Fletcher You're all right. They left the permission forms for you to sign. Apparently, you won't have to wait much longer. Sorry, can I just have a look at that? Celebrating with the rest of the teammates. There's a different approach to this uh, Harchester side. It's the boy. Can you hear me? If you can hear me, just squeeze my hand. Doctor. This is where Lazio are dangerous on the counter-attack, so much pace, Mutsi going for the header and just edged out of it. Harchester can't afford to leave the back door open. Ants. Ants. I gave instructions to stay in the same formation. The same formation. You tell them to revert. I want them to change back. Change back. Tell them to change back. Ants, do you understand? Coach Andy Anser looking to push Harchester back, but the players don't appear to be heeding that. They're in possession deep inside the Lazio half now. Curtis Alexander plays the 1 2. Oh, brought down, surely. Yes, penalty. Referee Eric Soro says a penalty to Harchester. One by Curtis. Jenny, Alexander. Time. What Sorry, just Jerry. one second. Well, one minute the Don Barger's telling them to be aware that they're not caught on the counter attack. And suddenly they're up the other end, it's a fabulous penalty. But wait a minute, Curtis Alexander, normal penalty kick taker, but Frank Stone looks like he wants to take charge. This is amazing. Well, this is very unusual. Why would they want to change the penalty kick taker in such an important match? The biggest moment of his football career, Frank Stone with the chance to put Harchester in front from the spot. Oh, how cool he's done it. And this... Champions League tie has been turned around and a message too for his wife. He thinks it's all it takes. Is going? Can we have a minute? Jodie. Jodie. I'm being silly, aren't I? About being here or about crying? About being here. If you say so. I do. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, come on. It's a real test of the mental resolve now of Lazio. Now, what's happening here? Fletcher's been called to the touchline. 
clearly a tactical talk with Andy Anser. Don Parker, of course, sent from the technical area earlier, has got the message down to the bench. Sit on what you've got, seems to be the message. That sounds like it to me. They're going to hang on to what they've got at 2-1. But hold on a minute. Very little time left. And they're looking to really seal it now. And he's done it. Alexander. 3-1. No way back for Lazio. Tremendous. What a performance. Well, it was a great ball from Mark Hammond. Just when we felt they were going to sit back and defend the 2-1 lead, they've gone up the other end. And that has certainly sealed it for Harchester. 3-1. There's no way back for Lazio now, Kevin. Well, after all the events in Rome and the controversy surrounding that match, this one-off affair has gone Harchester's way in the end. Quite, quite dramatic. Well, I wonder what the manager, Don Barker, said to the players in the dressing room at half-time, Kevin, because it's just been an incredible second-half performance. You know my bet stand. You're still the manager. Cheers, you man. On that pitch, man. And we didn't need an unfair advantage. Yeah, good on you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Listen up, listen up, listen up. Got a bit of a confession. That half time team talk, the gaffer told me no of it. Fletcher yeah. was, it was all about you. Yeah. Yeah. Fletcher, you prat. <laughs> Doesn't give up, does he, boys? No, it was me. Really? No, it was me. Really? <laughs> that was all you, son. All the goals, the training, all the coaching, all you. Christ, they even cut the grass this morning. <laughs> so why did I tell me to change it back then? Midway through the second half? Instructions from you. Andy, when you called me over, what did you say? I gave you a message from the gaffer. Which was? That you're a pain in the arse, Fletch. What is that? It's more good news. Things are weak. You know, we did this too, you know. Can you remember stuff or what? I remember up until they kicked me in the head. Who was it? Just a couple of thugs took my wallet and my phone. It's alright, no one rings you anyway. Let them rest, lads. Well done, lads. Can I have a word with Nathan? I am ashamed of myself about everything that happened in Lazio. I'm going to resign. I'm going to go and tell Knox what we did. We both are. I just want you to know how sorry I am. You don't have to resign. We didn't need an unfair advantage. We beat them. The day the gaffer took us from 1-0 down to a win. Just listen. No, no. And I don't want you to resign. I just want us to remember our win. We stay together then, eh? Coming soon on Dream Team. I want to be assistant manager. For once your team in a spot on, Fletcher. We've got someone else rejoining the team. What's the not to do on back here? Joe, you ain't pregnant anymore. 
You're not going to invite me in? 